Hey everyone, Vinayak here. Today we are taking a look at the Wall 3D X Maker. It's quite different from standard 3D printers. Find out if it's worth taking a look, especially in the education space. So let's check it out, shall we? Standard 3D printers, even though cost a lot less, are generally hard to set up for non-techies and there is a steep learning curve. To make 3D printers accessible to most users, I have reviewed one, the Wall 3D X Smart, a ready-to-go out-of-the-box 3D printer. In the same ready-to-use space, we have the Wall 3D X Maker. In the box, we have a scraper, screwdriver, pen drive, filament holder. This rolling pin is actually a filament mount a roll of filament, power cord, toolbox, and some spares and a manual. Now for the printer. Oh, it's heavy. Let's get all this plastic wrap off, shall we? One advantage of this printer is that it comes already assembled. So out of the box, with a bit of setup, it's ready to print. It seems to follow the red-black color scheme with actual chrome on the build plate. With an aluminum frame and injection molded body, it's quite robust. These are the side panels. The printer has an enclosed environment for better heat retention and also protects curious hands, especially as this is targeted to the educational sector. Cut the zip ties holding down the foam and it's out. These were in place to protect the extruder. The printer door opens outwards, providing access to the inside of the printer. Now for the foam under the print bed. Rotate the Z-axis screw and move the build platform up to get to the foam below. There is a glue stick in the foam below. The printer looks really cool, with a 3.5 inch touchscreen that allows managing the printer and adjusting the settings. Here's the build plate with the XMaker branding behind it. These dual fans at the back are exhausts, which are important especially if using filaments such as AVS. You see these aluminium posts? Placing the rolling pin filament mount on these posts and you get a filament holder. Let's install the side panels and they attach using magnets so they are easy to install and remove when necessary. The hood or top cover attaches to the frame via magnets too. Nice. Let's power it up. There is lighting within the printer too which can be controlled via the touch interface. The rounded fully enclosed design makes the device visually pleasing and kid friendly reducing the risk of accidental injuries. Here's the touchscreen interface. The icon-based interface is really intuitive. It gives full control over a variety of printing aspects while providing on-the-fly information about the printing status. Other items in the box, a thank you note from Kiddy, a bed leveling sheet, quick guide for the Kiddy education software which is targeted at kids, and also present is a manual. Before any printing can take place, we need to level the bed, as the printer has been moving around during transportation. We use the provided bed leveling sheet to test the level. Basically, the printer moves the extruder to three corners on the bed plate and using the knobs below, tighten or loosen until the sheet provided has a bit of resistance. Having the nozzle at the right height over the print bed allows for better adhesion and optimum print height. A USB drive is provided which includes the proprietary Kiri slicer and instructional video tutorials for fast setup and troubleshooting. Plug it in into the USB port on the side. Now for the filament. Insert it into the holder and place the holder onto the mount. Next, pull the filament into the extruder feeder hole. Heat up the extruder and once it reaches 220 degrees, press the down or ingest button to pull in the filament. Once we see filament flow out of the nozzle, the printer is ready. The nozzle size is 0.4 mm. Let's run a test file and see how the print looks. Close up the hood on top to maintain the temperature within. It's printing quite fast. For creating layers, the printhead travels both in the X and Y axes following the instructions provided by the print file. Once a layer is complete, the bed moves down on the Z axis. This movement is typical of Cartesian style machines. The material is pushed inside a heated extruder by a direct drive motor mounted on the top of the extrusion module. There's a camera within too, which once set up, 
you can see a live feed of the printing. The bed plate is removable and is magnetic. This makes it easy to remove the plate and access the print. We also have Wi-Fi on this printer and it is accessible via the PC using a proprietary KD print slicer. The KD print professional edition provides an expert mode with several in-depth functions. Targeted to well-seasoned users, it allows managing and adjusting advanced settings for a customized printing experience. We also have a kid-friendly education edition which is easier to use than the professional one. It is a simplified version of the standard software. We can connect to the printer via Wi-Fi and send prints wirelessly to the printer. Here I am sending one and it's transmitted wirelessly and it starts to print. And this is how the final model looks. What I like about this printer is that it's 90% ready to go out of the box with just the bed needing to be leveled at the beginning. After that it's mostly smooth sailing. The printer being heavy and robust, the prints come out really well with no print drift due to vibrations. This printer is targeted at education institutions and more at the younger audience. The side covers and the front door seal adequately well making for silent operation and low emissions. The X maker can print with PLA, PETG, ABS and TPU. With filament runout detection, the printer would stop printing and continue to print from where you had left off as soon as you put new filament in. Many 3D printers have a large learning curve, but this one is pretty easy to use right out of the box. So that was it. If you have any questions, do write in to me at tech at talkingstuff.net or WhatsApp me at 96525-78833. Also make sure to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell to be informed when new videos are added. Thank you for watching and see you all next time.